Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system and today is our lecture number 9 and in today's class we are going to study how to create a medicine window where we can store and manage the medicines of the software and clinic management system and uh, how can we add the patients we will see in this particular lecture okay so uh, in the previous lecture I have uh, discussed and demonstrated how to uh, use authentication in your software uh, with a separate module and now uh, let's start and have a look what we have today all right guys so that's my software now uh, two windows that I have to add here uh, let me close these all things now it's fine close every software these are all my modules this is also a module this is my actual software so right click on my software and now uh, click windows form and which module I wanted to which window I wanted to add is the medicine window so medicine window okay and then click add now uh, in a clinic management uh, or in a clinic uh, in real time you have two type of medicines uh, one is the medicine that the doctor provide uh, from the clinic directly and then uh, the other medicine that uh, the doctor recommends to purchase from the uh, pharmacy store or a super store or sorry uh, a pharmacy store or a, uh, or a or somewhere from the hospital outside the clinic okay so uh, there are two type of medicines so we have to tackle these two type of medicines here from this window so sample 2 is my parent class and then that's the inheritance done all the work is done now now what I wanted to add here simple label let me make it docked so that I don't want to open it again and again label then the name of the medicine and this is it and after the name you specify the company if you wish to it's not mandatory like if you wish to add the company of the medicine you can use that also okay so company and then here write uh, medicine name okay company and uh, drop down list we need also uh, which type of medicine it is internal or external so uh, type of medicine type and combo box you can select a combo box and make it large now go to its drop down to make it drop down list and then specify the specify a drop down list then uh, you can make its flat style to pop up so that the validation can appear apply here and because uh, if I don't want to add the company uh, so that you can do allow drop true so if you push if you put the allow drop true what will happen the company will not be validated I hope it is clear why I have done, th done this now um, uh, put it appropriately at right place okay now it's fine okay now save it give everything a name the name of the medicine should not be more than 100 characters okay and company should not be more than 100 characters and then the type it's a type drop down so type drop down and then that's the medicine name so meditext and then the company company text okay and uh, maybe it is possible let's say the doctor can ask his particular employee that please uh, this is the list of the medicine along with the company names along with the prices because doctor received these things uh, from the representatives of different pharmaceutical companies so uh, is it, it it is possible that doctor can uh, enter all the names along with the price it, it can also possible the data entry work should be done with uh, some other uh, employee of the uh, clinic uh, that these are this is the list you can enter so for for uh, an optional use uh, we can add the price also if if somebody wish to add the price of the uh, medicine so let us add it and price and then 
but I think I should not p pick up the price right now because uh, we have the type of medicine internal uh, and uh, we do not enter the price of the internal medicines right so uh, leave it leave it right now but uh, we'll we'll do this on request if somebody asks us that uh, please do enter the price also we can do that also no problem okay so right now I am doing this these things uh, just for sake of the data storage now uh, what I want to do names company and then meditext all things are now set now one thing that is to be done still that is the grid view so close this close everything go to staff select this grid view and come here and paste it now close everything and uh, okay wh why what that's my grid view copy and paste okay now it is pasted what do you need to display here the medicine name okay so remove everything except serial number okay now the medicine name gv first of all id gv because you are storing in the database so the id of the medicine so medi id it should not be visible it is read only and then medicine gv the name of the medicine and then that, that's the heading and then uh, you need the company company gv and then company and then you need the type so type gv and that will become the type okay so that's it all the things are now set i have changed the columns with respect to my this window now what i wanted to do i just go to my uh, libraries and add the references of my crude module so medicine window now it's fine save it go to the solution explorer i have already added the references here inside this project so double click save it and here uh, go to your sample to go to its code copy these three things and come inside medicine paste here also okay close everything now okay instead of virtual what you will write override current document yes replace it and then where I uh, from which shortcut key that replace uh, window pop up will appear control H is the shortcut key okay uh, now save it so what should I do here the first thing that I wanted to do is the types so edit item internal medicine and external medicine okay so I have two type of medicine internally that the doctor will provide within the clinic and an external medicine and save it now let's go to the staff code and copy this thing which thing this thing so the validations on the medicine double click that's my medi text and paste and here what you can do if the medi text dot text is equals to equals to blank then the back color should be fire brick and here it should be fire brick sorry white now if because company I wanted to le uh, leave from the validation so I'm not going to apply any validation here so double click on your type drop down and right here um, go to your staff code and select your drop down this one copy and come here and paste and instead of this drop down what you can do type drop down dot selected index type drop down dot back color and look that's the mistake inside the drop down that the username that's why in the previous lecture the color was coming red by default if you see the previous lectures so copy it and paste it so that means the problem is here also because look that's a drop down inside the staff window in the role drop down I have made the color of the text changed instead of drop down so that's the problem so you have to copy this name and paste it here and paste it here then now that's correct okay now let's go to the medicine 
all things are now set now what to do the save the save code so where is my save button code here is my save button code copy this code this code is still from here okay so copy this code and come here inside medicine window and go to your save button and paste that code here simple now hash table for hash table just import the reference uh, that is okay, that is not appearing here control dot using system dot collections is added now uh, we have to create the medicine table first and then all these crude operations should happen so crude using crude should be added using crude simple now some error should resolve now load users so uh, go to the staff and copy this load users okay copy and here you have to paste we can do still more uh, reusability things also because look this data remains the same but the columns are changing every time we can change that also but uh, i will tell you later on but to right now leave it as it is save it go to your database and create your medicine table now create table medicine m underscore id integer not null identity primary key that's it medicine underscore name varchar 100 not null medicine underscore company varchar 100 it, it, it should be null or not uh, it should not be not null and then uh, what's thing what's the thing that is the type and it become the tiny integer and it should be not null i hope it is clear to everyone okay these are the things execute commands completed successfully and now uh, insert create procedure st underscore insert medicine and as insert into medicine values and here you have to write at the rate name i will create these parameters at the rate company then at the rate type so these are the three parameters that i have to pass at the rate name that should be varchar 100 then at the rate comp that is company that should also be varchar 100 and then at the rate type um, and type should also be tiny integer now it's fine so insert medicine because this is the primary key column and identity also so i don't need to insert this simple so copy and execute select and execute now uh, the update procedure so copy it paste it and what you can do here update medicine and right here at the rate id and as update medicine set m underscore name equal to at the rate name m underscore company equals to at the rate company m underscore type equals to at the rate type the things where m underscore id is equals to at the rate id that i will pass and it should be the integer one so that's my update procedure execute now the delete procedure copy this one and paste it below remove these parameters because deletion is done based on the id as delete from medicine where m underscore id is equals to at the rate id okay so update medicine sorry that's the delete so delete it and then create commands completed successfully now you have to retrieve the medicine for that purpose create procedure st underscore get medicine as select 
from um, medicine m m dot id as id of the medicine and then all the controls uh, name as specify the name or you can write here medicine and then m dot type because now I have taken type as 1 or 0 ok so I am writing here case when m type is equals to 1 then show display um, ok if it is 0 then display internal else uh, display external and as you can write here type of medicine ok so I have applied a switch case and then m dot company as company if it exist otherwise no results ok so uh, that's my medicine ok one thing that I can do here is order by m dot name ascending that means in ascending order the medicine names will appear cat medicines ok one more thing that you can do you can check whether the medicine exists or not you can select the medicines based on the ID and uh, you can search the medicine if it is exist if the medicine exists so what you can do you can create another procedure copy it and paste it so instead of get medicine right here search medicine medicine ok now how can you search the medicine uh, you can write here where m dot name like ok so if I write a b so all the names with respect to a b medicines will appear and all that I hope you, you, you are getting me so like right here wildcard character percentage percentage means uh, that whatever come from in the beginning no problem concatenation and then the parameter medicine that I will pass on runtime and then again what whatever no matter what will come in, th in the end ok so right here at the rate medicine and it should become varchar 100 one thing but the problem is the, the the search person can be able to search the medicine with respect to name or with respect to the company or with respect to some other type internal medicine let us say so anything can become so instead of writing medicine you can write here data so whatever the data you can enter ok and write here at the rate data where name like this or you can put it in round brackets where name like this or copy where m dot company like this or paste where now I do not have the case in uh, internal or external because the data here is 1 or 0 so for that purpose uh, you can copy this case ok write here round brackets and put it here so whatever will be the case if the case is like internal or now like external so what will happen the data will be fetched with respect to that particular medicine so search medicine procedure is now finished um, execute commands completed successfully now let us go to the software and add these things so first of all uh, the thing that you have to add here is the medicine id gv so medicine id gv and then medicine gv and then the company gv so company gv and then the type gv specify the type type gv ok so these are my columns medicine id medicine name company and the type what else required remaining no nothing is remaining ok so just pass these things and remove these things and instead of get users what you will you can add here 
simple get medicine so copy this and paste it no need to write the update code insert code or select or retrieve code again and again the checking of the things are there and now you have to pass the hash table values instead of these you pass your values remove these all also so remove it remove it you have to pass three things so you don't need to add this so the first thing in the insert you have name copy paste the next thing that you have is the company paste and then the next thing you have is the type so copy and paste now name where is my name text so medicine text okay dot text that's my value and now company because company can be blank cannot be blank so what you can do you can specify a string variable string and nullable string string and company equals to uh, combo box sorry the company drop down so the company drop down where is that no the company is not there the type is in the drop down right and the company is optional so that's the text so company text dot text is equals to equals to blank if the text is blank then db null dot value that means you are passing null else company text dot text so what will happen uh, you can store the name of the company inside the company variable but still it is saying me some problem okay db null is not should is not stored here so what you can do you can create it as an object now it's fine uh, still it is saying that you cannot store the string the two string okay so no it's still not saying so okay uh, instead of this then you can write simple if else if company text dot text is equals to equals to blank then what you can do add the data as db null dot value if the text box is blank else add the data with the name of the company simple that was i was trying to do so company text dot text so name then company and then the last thing is the type so uh, if again if else we have to apply if um, type drop down dot selected index is equals to equals to 0 or you can simply do the selected index don't need to write if else because uh, on 0 you have internal on one index you have external so you can directly write um, type drop down dot selected index that's it so whatever will be the index 0 or 1 it will be uh, stored inside the uh, software in this particular hash table now uh, after this you have added this now you have to insert in the medicine so insert medicine procedure copy it and paste it simple and then medicine text edit successfully into the system all the things remains the same and here instead of load users you write load medicine okay and wherever this is write load medicine copy this and paste it everywhere where else you have that's it and after insert now let's go to the update so hash table copy and instead of this paste one thing that you have to add is the id so id is here with the name at the red id so at the red id is there but the medicine id is not there so let me create the medicine id integer med id equals to 0 by default and now you have to pass here med id okay so the medicine id that's my update code then here you have to specify the sorry uh, update procedure copy it 
and paste it simple so one extra parameter and now here you write meditext dot text updated successfully update medicine now let's go to the click event of the grid so that the updation will take place events cell click go to the staff go to the click event here we have the click event copy it and go to the medicine and paste it here so add it equal to this correct i don't need these all things uh instead i am removing these so user id instead of user id you write med id and then here you can write med id gv for medicine and then you have to specify the medicine gv and then uh, where should it display medi text and then company so comp gv and then close it and here you can write company text and then uh the type so uh here you can specify type gv type gv and here you can specify type drop down dot selected item because this is not from database otherwise we will select the selected value it these are my hard coded values so all things are now set one thing is remaining is still the view and the delete so go to the staff and that's my delete code copy it and go to the medicine window and on the delete paste it i show you want to delete instead of user id you write here medicine id and the id is the parameter instead of delete user you write here delete medicine copy and paste and then write here medi text and then load medicine okay so load medicine is there now copy it and paste it here so that we can when you click the view button then it will become this so all things are now set let's go to the home screen where is my home screen here is my home screen let us copy this stuff and paste it and then give it a name med button and then uh, undock it so that you can place it at appropriate place now that's fine and now dock dock it fill and right here medicine medicine and then uh, remove this image i will up pick up another image no problem now it's fine so medicine button double click here and now copy it and then paste it here you can specify the medicine window to open this and paste it i hope it is clear to everyone now let's verify the working of this medicine window right so i have already uh, entered the names now login medicine controls are not disabled by default i have to do that okay so go to your medicine window and select your controls and make them disabled enable false okay now it's fine let's start login medicine look these are disabled now when you click add the controls are enabled now medicine name let's say um panadol uh 100 mg and then the company i'm leaving blank and then the type that is internal and then click save panadol 100 mg added successfully into the system and it is displayed type is not displayed that means there is some problem in the type we'll see that what's the problem when you click here these things are coming but type is not coming so let us go to the database and verify why the type is not coming so refresh your tables and medicine and check it what is the data edit top 200 rows look the type is zero okay because at zero index you have the internal medicine that the, the data is inserted it's fine but what's the problem the company is null there is all things are now set that means the problem is somewhere inside the view code so 
medicine and then type gv we have to check okay uh, let's go to the query and get medicines so if i copy click here okay the type is coming the type is coming but the type is uh, here okay so that means that data i am passing here we have the company gv and then the type gv all things are now set so here the type is coming first and then company is at the end so cut it paste it and run it okay login medicine view okay now it's fine because the order was i have disturbed the order that's why the problem came into the context now it's fine i have uh, corrected now let us add the company edit and the company name let's say abbot i don't know but i'm just entering the name and then uh, click save and then click okay so the data is updating also and when you wanted to delete the it will delete also okay so i hope it is clear to everyone uh, uh, I, why i have created this window it is not for the doctor okay so doctor will provide the list to the uh, concerned employee or the compounder or anyone who belongs to the doctor and that employee will add all the medicines that belongs to the clinic or that do not belongs to the clinic with particular company and then what will happen when we create the checkup window on that checkup window when the doctor will simply type the medicine name the medicine name will just come and appended inside the uh, drop down list or whatever the control we will use so hopefully you have understood this thing and now uh, i am stopping today in the next class we will continue further uh, with some more new stuff okay so if you do not understand anything please do write me thank you so much take care allah hafiz